Well, we're checking in with the Bradfield Community Center. We've got the Boys and Girls Club going. We've got classes, lots of things to talk about. So joining us today to my immediate left, we have got, of course, the executive director, Chris Jackson. And then we have the new unit director of the Boys and Girls Club, Junior Ramos. And thanks for coming today, both Thank of you. Thank you for having us. Okay, so Chris, you know, we had the big announcement early this year, the Girls and Boys Club is coming. And how's it been going trying to settle everything in and get things started? It's, it's been busy, Holly, but we're excited. Uh, we've got about uh, 38 to 40 kids coming on a daily basis, so we're really enjoying it. Uh, it's, it's a unique experience. Um, we're just kind of going through the growing pain, so I think once we get everything in place, it's going to be really great. But we're, we're excited. Mm -hmm. We're excited. Yeah, Junior, I mean, you're going to have the Girls and Boys Club, and it, it's nice to have the kids come into the center, right, and, and to know they're learning and, and doing these things with the club, right? Oh, yeah, absolutely, and they enjoy it. Um, you know, they... they they get disappointed when they have to leave, so <laughs> their parents keep telling us they want to come back. So we're That's doing something good. right. Yeah, well, you've got about 40 kids right now, but part of the problem is you need more volunteers, right? I mean, you can't do it alone, so let's talk about some of your needs, how people can help you out. Yeah, absolutely. Volunteers are, are, are needed, uh, and 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 gratefully, we we will accept volunteers, but we also need staff. Mm -hmm. um, we're, we're kind of short on staff right now, and so we're filling in roles that that is, is, you know, for, for other staff, but um, we're moving along, so it's been good. That's good. So what are you looking for, like someone to be like enjoying teaching or, you know, with sports? I mean, I'm not sure what kind of roles do you need filled? Yeah, um, one, of the, one of the key staff members that we need are, are a couple of YDPs, which is Youth Development Professionals. Um, those are the teachers in the classrooms with the kids, the hands-on. Okay. And uh, and we need at least two of them, and we're, we're searching, and it's it's been good. We've had... We've had a lot of inquiries, but mm -hmm. it's it's been kind of hard to gather staff. So. Right, yeah. All right, so get the staff settled in, and that's a good amount of kids. But you can still, hopefully, to grow, right, in the future. What are your, your dreams and aspirations as the unit director? Uh, our dreams and my dreams and aspirations <laughs> are to are to reach our, our, our uh, potential, our, our, our full uh, capacity of 80. Um, students so that I think that would be great and and uh, also recruiting more students we don't have many high schoolers so we'd like to see more high schoolers there. okay all right so what is the age bracket then for boys and girls club age bracket um, grade is from kindergarten all the way through 12th grade oh, so okay. yeah oh. so we have plenty of room to fill I guess so wide range there for all age kids yes. making an impact at any age possible is Chris you know I know you were instrumental in bringing the the club to town what, what were did you see it's filling a gap? I mean, is that exactly, you know, why was it so important to get the club here and, and keep it rolling? Yeah, I, I saw it filling the gap. You know, there's just so many youth that uh, need positive uh, direction. Uh, they have some other after-school programs, but we thought by this being a national organization, uh, not only does it bring kids in, but there's some national prominence that come with it financially and things like that. So we, I thought it would be a great idea, and so far it's starting to turn out that way. And I think here, you know, this is football season, so we got a lot of kids playing football and things like that. But I think once that slows down, those numbers will increase. I think we'll outgrow this building eventually also. Wow. Oh, then that's another problem for you. Where to house yes. everybody? One step at a time, right? We yes. need to fill all these needs. So. Um, we have all ages then for that, but we also have classes. So uh, let's talk about what's happening at Bradfield, too, besides the Boys and Girls Club. you got other stuff happening. Yeah, so one of the biggest challenges is that we want to make sure Bradfield still, Center was still known as the Community Center, so we still have our Community Center side. Uh, Miss Tisha's uh, well, fitness classes are going well. We've added a couple new fitness classes. We have one called Just Dance. I went in there the other day. They had about 20 participants, so Just Dance is a kind of high routine. Uh, Miss Tisha's also moved her. Uh, a morning class in that was at the down by the Y at the new park there. So oh, now man. that's their help being housed at Bradfield. So we've got programs uh, Monday through Friday. There's some type of class, physical fitness. So just want people to come out, you know, and stay physical and, and to see the uh, other side of Bradfield also. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all ages too. I mean, you have seniors doing stuff, and you know, so yes. And one of the things we're excited about, hopefully, eventually here, we're going to uh, kind of blend it to our interdenominational uh, inter uh, age deal with the uh, young people from Boys and Girls Club working out with their seniors. Or uh, not sorry with the uh, seniors from Boys and Girls Club right. and then with the adults also. That's awesome. Great things happening at Bradfield. Both of you, thanks very much for coming today. Thank you, Good Thank to you see very you. much. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.